Paige Birch and I'm with the Office of Community Affairs here in the county and we're here today, well fall's in the air, so we're here today to talk about um, an upcoming fall festival and it's the Camp Wright Fall Festival and Haunted Trail, scary Haunted Trail I should say, and I have Bob and Tim here to talk a little bit about both parts of the festival. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Thank you. It's, it's hard to believe that it's that time of year already, but we're talking Haunted Trail and Fall Festivals. So It's starting to get cold. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Woke up this morning a little chilly out there. That's today, right. So. That's right. So tell, tell everyone a little bit about the Fall Festival, what it is and what they can expect when they come to it. Well, probably the greatest thing about the Fall Festival is it's free. That, there you go. Attending the Fall Festival is totally free. It's on the grounds of Camp Wright, which mm -hmm. if you haven't visited Camp Wright on Kent Island, it is truly a jewel in this area. It borders yeah, the bay. It's just I don't just think a gorgeous. lot of people realize what's right there. Oh, my gosh. And it's right on Route 8 south, um, yep. what, maybe two miles down from Route yep. 50. On the right-hand yep. side, yep. it's just past uh, uh, Christ Church. Right. Just past on the turn. And we'll have games for kids that are run by kids. Okay. So kids all have fun playing these games. Everyone wins. Um, <laughs> you can get an unlimited uh, game ticket for $10. It's a wristband. With that, you'll also get a free hot dog and some ice cream. Okay. So, hey, you know, that's even better. Right. Kids are happy. Uh, for the parents, we have adult food, too. We have brats and we have chili. Um, we have a group at our church that does soups, and for this event, they do chili. They're that's the same ones that do for the farmer's market each you got week, it. right? Yes. Oh, yeah. They have quite a following. They do. Yep. Yes. And so, you know, the food will be fantastic. Uh, I'll be there. You won't recognize me because I'm on the grill all day cooking brats. <laughs> we serve so many brats, and they're just spectacular. So, you know, everyone comes out, and it really has a good time. Bob's lined up some fantastic music for this year. We have some great entertainers. Uh, Pam the Kinder Singer is coming. So okay. um, she's well known in the area. She's going to be from 12 to 2. So it's great for the kids. It, it keeps them entertained. We also have the Lions of Bluegrass. is a bluegrass mm -hmm. band. So that should be fun during the day. And then a huge popular band in the area, local band, Del Fox Company. Oh, we're yeah. We're very excited. They were, they were there last year and they're here again. And they'll be rocking out and it'll be a lot of fun. Um, we also have tons of craft vendors d there, so selling all different kinds of wares. Um, they're all local vendors, so you're supporting your local community you know, um, when you come to the Fall Fest. Okay, and um, so the Fall Fest is actually on October 24th, and it's 11 to 8. And then that weekend, you have... Oh, you can get scared. The Haunted Village. Um, <laughs> oh tell us a little bit about the Haunted Village, who, who puts it on, and what people can expect with that. Well... It's partnered with the Drama Club up at Ken Island High School. And every year, they absolutely impress us with yeah. the, the makeup, the, the um, energy that they bring to it. And they'll scare you. <laughs> That's what I've <laughs> heard. They will <laughs> scare you. And we're doing that both Friday and Saturday evening, okay. starting at 6.30. If you've got a small child, bring them early. Okay. Do not bring a small child late because it gets really scary when it gets really dark. The ghosts right. come out later at oh night, boy. so you want to bring so. them in early before they get out there. And and this year will be a haunted farm. Oh, okay. And and whatever that means, I, I don't know because <laughs> these kids they're really good at what they do. And since you're talking about the um, drama club, who who? Um, who benefits from this these two events these two events because i think that's important to talk about who benefits and who sponsors the event to help out well there's a lot a lot of people that uh, benefit the money stays local in the community so um the boy scouts who help us park the cars they benefit obviously the ken island drama club it's a huge um uh, money raising event for them um also christ church helps us do outreach we do backpack meals for okay. the kids which is very uh, good yep. we do food pantry um so that some of the money goes towards that in our local community. Um, some, of, some of our sponsors that have donated so far, uh, the VFW uh, number 7464, um, also uh, the Ken Island American Legion post 278, we thank them for their donations. Okay. Um, they've been great. 
Um, and uh, we're looking for additional donations. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. What else do you need? So we need tractors. If people have tractors, we know people you know, in Queen Anne's County have, have tractors. tractors. So <laughs> uh, we're looking for some to pull some of the people movers. Um, we also need golf carts um, okay. or uh, gator type uh, vehicles um, to help transport food and stuff. We're also looking for donations for the hot dogs and ice cream. Okay. Since we're giving that away free this year. You know, if there's any uh, corporations that like to give away hot dogs or ice cream, that would be great. Okay. Yeah, the more sponsors that we can come up with, the more we can do in the community. Right. And there are organizations that raise money and then go, gosh, what are we going to do with it? Well, there's a perfect opportunity because this money is all going to go back into... Right in your neighborhood. Right in the neighborhood. Um, you know, we the amount of work that people do at Christ Church, it's hard to find someone that isn't on a committee helping in right. outreach in some way. We've been around since 1631, and that kind of frontier spirit stays with the, mm -hmm. the parishioners there. And, and I'll tell you, the Fall Fest, it's one of those events that you go out, beautiful day, enjoy the views of the Chesapeake Bay, have some good food. Right. Evening comes around, get a little scared. <laughs> and, it's, and it's something for everyone. So, again, it, the Fall Fest is October 24th. And then the Haunted Village is the 23rd and the 24th. Yeah, we're doing Friday and Saturday. Friday usually is a smaller attendance because of high school football. Right. So once again, if you have younger kids, that's, that's a good, good time to, yep. to bring them out Friday night. Um, the other thing is the Drama Mamas, which is the parent organization <laughs> of the drama. Yeah, I, I love that I name. I love that name. <laughs> but they'll be selling snacks and okay. things at the uh, Haunted Trail, Okay. which is always nice because you get there and you're like, oh, you know, I'm a little, little famished. Right. They'll have hot chocolate and various things. We usually also have some face painting options available at the Haunted Trail so the kids can get into the spirit okay. of things. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're always looking for volunteers, people to help out, uh, and, and donations to help, help pay for it so that we have more money available to donate to the different organizations. Okay. And we have your contact information on the screen, so we have an email address and your Facebook page. So if anybody wants to get involved, they can get a hold of you that way. So, right well, thank you, gentlemen, for coming in, and I'm hoping for good weather for you for this. Nice thank and you. chilly yeah. and <laughs> creepy out. So right. thank you very much. Thank you. For thank you. Us.